number 31 wants us to solve the absolute value equation. Um, you might want to recall when you do absolute value equation, you have to isolate the absolute value. So right now we have absolute value of 6x plus 8. And then we have a plus 3 on the same side equals 8. We have to first subtract 3 and isolate this absolute value. So we have absolute value of 6x plus 8 subtract 3 would be equal to 5. Okay, so now absolute value says whatever the answer is, if it was negative, we made it positive, and if it was positive, it comes out positive. So you have to set this expression equal to the negative and positive answer. 6x plus 8 equals 5, that's a positive, and then 6x plus 8 equals negative 5, and we're going to solve it twice. Subtract 8, 6x equals negative 3, divide by 6, x equals negative 1 half. So that's the answer for that side. And then over here, subtract 8. So we get 6x equals negative 13. Divide by 6 and we get x equals negative 13 over 6. Okay, usually you want to check, plug in and check to make sure both of these work. Um, half of 6 would give us 3. And then, I'm sorry, negative half. We'll give us a negative 3 plus um, 8 will give us 5 plus 3 will give us 8, so we get 8 equals 8. Over here, we'll get uh, a negative 13 because the 6 will divide out. Negative 13 plus 8 will give us a negative 5. Absolute value make it positive. Plus 3 will give us 8, so both of them check out. Um, negative 1 half and negative 13 over 6. Alright, the function is 1, 2, 1. We want to find its inverse. So the way you find inverse of 1 to 1 functions is you interchange x and y. So this function is y equals 4x plus 7. We're going to change places so that it will be x equals 4y plus 7 and then solve for y. So we will subtract 7.
Okay, so those are my rows and columns. And the matrix we're going to do is R3 is going to go negative 4 times R1 plus R3. And then the other operation will give us R4 is 5 times R1 plus R4. Okay, so I am going to rewrite this matrix. I'm going to leave the, the first two rows so they're not changing, and I'm going to change both of these at the same time, or one at a time, and just do one matrix. So the first two rows won't change. Five, zero. One, one, negative one, one. And then zero, negative four, four, negative three. Alright, so I'm going to just walk you through it. Negative 4 times all of this added to row 3. Uh, negative 4 plus 5 will give us a negative 1. Negative 4 plus 0 gives us a negative 4. Negative 4, positive 4, minus 3 gives us 1. Negative 4, minus 5, negative 9. Negative 4, is 20, negative 20, negative 19. Alright, let's look at our answer choices just based on row 3. Based on row 3. So A, negative 1, sorry, positive 1. I should have a negative 1. No, I should have a positive 1. I made a mathematical error. That would be a negative 4. So 5 will be a positive one. So my bad there. So we would have positive 1, 4, positive 1, negative 9, negative 19. A matches. Uh, B does not on row 3. Um, C doesn't because of the 19. Um, it's a negative 3. And D looks good. So we got a 50-50 shot between A and um, D. So let's continue with uh, row 4 changing. So 5 times this row plus row 4. So times 5 is 5 minus 2 is 3. Times 5 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Times 5 is negative 5 negative 5 times 5 plus 4 is 9 times 5 is 25 plus 20 alright so A does not match 3, 6, negative 5, 9, and 20 so it looks like D is going to be the one we want to go with 